What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. It's about 11.17 a.m. here along the West Coast. Latest earthquake shows a 3.9 in this jumbled up mess of earthquake activity across the Indonesia region. And the Java Trench showing quite a bit of earthquake activity here over the last 24 hours. Also some activity ramping up South America and even out here along the west coast in california so let's see what's going on here with this uh, very active day in terms of uh, earthquake activity west coast region did see a 3.0 coming in to the um, well off the calaveras fault zone it looks like just around the uh, south of the san jose area 6.3 kilometers deep for that earthquake coming in within the last hour also some other Scattered movement here across the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. One earthquake up here on the San Andreas Fault at the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco Zoo, 1.7, 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake. Uh, a little bit of movement, of course, up around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Northern California, pretty spotty. Not a whole lot going on up here into the Pacific Northwest uh, or the um, Oregon area. Uh, now further down south into the state of California, a little bit of activity off of the uh, southern branch of the San Andreas Fault with a very small 1.7, uh, but it looks like things may be starting to ramp up here across the center portion of the state. And uh, there's, there's a little bit of activity here outside of the Cedar, C Cedar City area, Utah region. Seen a small swarm of earthquake activity out here today, about nine earthquakes in that mix. And it looks as though Yellowstone showing a small amount of activity as well. So let me double check that and see what we have going on there across the area. <clears throat> this looks like it's a uh, yeah, little bit of activity here in the last uh, couple hours. There's some of that earthquake activity listed on the graph. Doesn't look like there's too much activity though today. It looks as though there's some type of wind event kicking up here. Uh, within the last four hours or so as you can see the darker color lines here thicker lines indicating some type of outside interference there on the uh, seismograph station all right uh, let's see what else we have across the board for earthquake activity um well oklahoma got a little bit of activity around the okc area this region has been fairly active in terms of of uh, earthquake movement here across some of these oil pumping operations but uh, nothing showing up here today most of this activity from yesterday but uh, we'll continue to watch that not a whole lot going on further east the caribbean plate looks like it's less active today but i don't think it is um we do have a 4.3 coming in here just off the coast of the el salvador area it looks like fairly new earthquake into the uh uh, into a portion of the middle america trench here uh, around the puerto rico area got about 27 earthquakes uh, i believe the majority of these from yesterday we've got a few today a couple twos it uh, looks as though the swarm may be tapering off slightly it's been somewhat elevated here over the past couple days around the caribbean plate south america region twos and threes and fours is the are the numbers across the board down there some deep and some shallow looks fairly active over here today uh, across the Chile area and along the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, let's see, the latest one shows a 4.3 into, uh, well, just off the coast here of Santiago, Chile, 27 kilometers deep. Prior to that, a little bit of deeper movement up north into the Peru Chile Trench area. Alaska, way up north here. Looks like a typical day. I'm not seeing any major elevated activity uh, for now. See what we got for 2.5 and above across the region. Uh, it's scattered out and about here a little bit. Uh, nothing major, though, as noted. The Tanaga and the Takawanga volcano still seeing the slight swarm of earthquake activity here uh, this morning, but nothing major changing overnight. Uh, Kuro Kamachaka Trench over here near Russia. That earthquake, 111 kilometers deep for a 4.9. Uh, still watching this area, right? Got to be primed here. Uh, just a matter of time before we see some uh, significant movement on that segment of the Pacific Plate. Down here in the um, 
Guam area, south of Guam. It looks like 4.5 coming in from yesterday. Some older movement there. And uh, as noted here on the Earthquake 3D Globe, definitely ramping up here across the Indonesia Islands area and the Java Trench uh, with quite a bit of earthquake activity. We're not really seeing it here on the Earthquake um, USGS map because of the 4.0 threshold that the USGS uses here um, across the uh, region. I should say 4.5 and above. Uh, they don't really show anything above or below that level here for the area. So what we do have is uh, still a pretty good uptick and uh, looks like fives out here around Papua New Guinea and uh, some other earthquake activity here into the Philippine Trench. Definitely a noticeable uptick and uptrend in earthquake activity across the region here today. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. Looks like it's building up, back building here a little bit along the Solomon, Solomon Islands and um, near the Vanuatu area getting in on some smaller earthquake activity as well. Shouldn't say small, it's definitely somewhat moderate uh, around the Port Villa area. Some fives and fours it looks like. Got a little bit of deeper movement kicking off and some shallower earthquake activity here. The general plate uh, movement here is towards the west-northwest. Around this bend of Fiji, Tonga area, and Kermadec Trench. All looks fairly quiet today, even on the EMSC model here. Not a whole lot going on there. Uh, just a real quick glance at the GeoNet servers. And... Um, Looks like the at least the, the most felt one was a 3.4 from yesterday there in the uh, New Zealand region. Quick glance at the EMSC model, or the uh, GeoNet earthquake drums, I should say. Uh, doesn't show a whole lot. Been awfully quiet down there. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. The big island of Hawaii. Only uh, seven earthquakes today, most of that from yesterday. Do have a couple of smaller earthquakes around the Pahala area, but this is all very typical. Taking a little break out there, it looks like, on the big island for earthquake activity. Uh, further west, some movement out around eastern Afghanistan. And um, the latest one up here, north, well northeast of the Afghanistan region with that 4.9. Very shallow earthquake there, 1.7 kilometers below the surface. And a glance here at the globe confirms the USGS information out here. Not a whole lot going on across this area for now. The Atlantic Ocean, very quiet. So a couple different regional uh, areas to watch here today. Looks like, uh, kind of looks like there was a newer earthquake out here around the southern end of the Kurokamachaka Trench just off the coast of Japan. USGS really not showing that earthquake, so... Uh, might see a little uptick here across the region today, it looks like. Uh, but the big deal, definitely around the Indonesia area. Uh, in areas, in times like this, when it's bunched up and clustered together, most of the time, this momentum, uh, this cluster of quakes that we're seeing, the momentum from it should shoot around the plate boundary or nearby. Uh, in this case, it could be up north here of the Java Trench. Uh, but also at the same time here, if it kind of builds up and compacts as uh, far as the momentum goes, we could see that back building of earthquake activity here. Uh, it's similar to kind of what we're seeing right now, although some of this activity here from yesterday. But uh, either way, definitely a wide area of earthquake activity to watch here today across the region. All right, uh, space weather activity from the solarham.net site. See what we got with new sunspots. Um, Well, let's see. The one that's currently facing us, almost directly squared up. We got two of those. Um, still fairly unstable with this sunspot region. This one, not so much. Uh, but we are watching this fairly massive sunspot region down here on the southeastern limb of the sun. That could pose some further flaring threat in the coming days. Uh, but I think for right now, our main probable threat for some flaring looking at the magnetic structure is going to be 3272 and uh, 3276 with an overall threat for 95 percent chance for c flare and flare at 35 percent chance x flare at five percent 
and overnight we just had some very minimal solar flare activity uh, looks like we did maybe peek out into the low m flare category but aside from that things kind of taking a downhill turn for now as uh, far as the aurora forecast goes not a whole lot of forecast to chat about here very minimal conditions at the higher latitudes for now All right, uh, let's see what else is there. Earthquakes Canada. Just want to give a quick glance up here to the north of us. And uh, where's their map at? Let's see, where to go? Are we slow today? There we go. Not, well, goodness, not a whole lot going on here. A lot of yellow circles there indicating um, a much older movement. Nothing showing up here as far as the last day or hardly any in the last week as well. So. Um, I guess the latest earthquake in the purple circle over here. Very small microquake in the Quebec region. A 1.7. That's about it. Fairly quiet up there. All right, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. It's supposed to be about uh, 73 degrees today. It's a little bit cooler today than what it was yesterday. We hit, I think we hit about 83 yesterday. It was a pretty nice day. Beautiful day. The warmest day of the year so far here uh, in my neck of the woods. Today a little bit cooler, some clouds coming in. But uh, hopefully we'll see the sunshine here in a little bit. Have a good one, guys. We'll catch you back here a little bit later on tonight. Take care.